I love seeing you. Oh my gosh, it's been uh, it's been three years almost to the day. Almost to the day. Yeah, and a lot of things have happened. Congratulations. What are you talking uh, about? Oh yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, I, you have another baby on the way. I do. I do. Oh, hey, baby. Hi, baby. Uh, uh, you, it's, it, you have a, it's a three-year uh, anniversary coming up. You and Joe Jonas. Three-year marriage anniversary. Wow. I think it's leather. Is that? Oh, three years is leather. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. What? Uh, do you have any thoughts? Not a clue. No. no yeah. A pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe a pair of shoes. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. A book. A book. Did you? Uh, did, when did you realize you go? Oh, I think I'm gonna marry Joe Jonas. Uh. I mean, the first night I met him, I remember, like, he left my apartment, and it may have been the alcohol, but, like, he what, left... What was it? What was the apartment? You just came over for a date? He didn't come over. No, I'm not that forward. We went out and we, we, we uh, hung out at a bar with, like, all my friends and all his friends, and then they all came back to my apartment and we had drinks after. Yeah. Um, and I remember him leaving and I just, like, weeped. I wept to my brother. I was like, I love this man so much. <laughs> And I knew, right? and that was it. That's who you knew, yeah. Uh, we know, we know Joe Jonas as a Joe Jonas, a smooth guy. You know, he's got a lot of game. Uh, but then you just told me something backstage. I had to call him out on it. What did he say? Did you said like. So on on this first date, he was like, you know, do you ever get told? He was like leading me into this. Okay? Yeah. He goes like, oh, do you ever get told you look like? you know, a young celebrity, and I was like, oh, yes, yeah, sometimes, but who, why, why do you ask? And he goes, well, I get, I get young George Clooney all the time, and I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> that's such a funny move. No, that's, you don't. You don't, no, you don't. That's hilarious yeah. that he would do that. I know, and then I told him, well, I get young boy George all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the Georges combined. Yeah, yeah, young boy George Clooney. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, That's our daughter's name. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you guys look great at the Met Gala the other night. Of course you did. Look, it's a good-looking couple. Oh my God. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> stunning. Uh, you've been to the Met Gala before. Uh, uh, do you get starstruck anymore? Is there any celebrities you go, like, "Ooh, wow"? Um, I do. I mean, I'm really bad around celebrities. Like, I. I I, I just can't, I can't quite fathom that I'm actually invited to these things and I'm not like a competition winner, you know? So I, I mean, every celebrity I, I come into contact with, I'd like act up or say something stupid. And, and recently it's been, if a celebrity interacts with me, I immediately just shut them down and I'm like, I don't want anything to do with you. And I, secretly I'm like, oh, <laughs> I love you, but you're like, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, cool. But I've, been, I've gone too far the other way before, so I, I, I guess I've... What's a recent example? So, Kendall Jenner was at the... Have you ever heard of her? She's like, very... Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, we've heard of her, yeah. She's a niche. Yes. Um, she was at the Met, and, and I love the Kardashians, but I think she's, like, she's so gorgeous in real life, and I was so, like, struck by her beauty, and she, like, invited me to... They were having, like, this after party, this low-key after party. And I, she went, like, do you want to come? And I just went, no. <laughs> no. No, I don't. And no, I'm like, why? Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I would love to come. I'm like, no, no, I'm good. No, later. And then I just sat in bed and ate pasta, and I was like, could be somewhere else right now. But I'm That like, sounds pretty good, by the way, sitting in bed and eating pasta. You come know on. what? It wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about your new show, The Staircase. Uh, congrats on this. I, I, I know the documentary. I've seen it. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, when did you get into it? When did you hear about it? I think I got into it when everyone else kind of did. I think it was like 2020, it came out on Netflix yeah. and everyone became like completely obsessed with it. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. And, um, and so about six months later, I found out they were making an HBO show about it. And I was like, I mean, sign me up. I kind of remember what happened, but I also don't. So there's uh, the husband, the... So, wife. yeah, so this woman, Kathleen Peterson, this is a, you know, a true story. Yes. Um, she either fell or was pushed by someone down the stairs, and unfortunately she passed away. And um, the whole documentary is follow following the trial of her husband, Michael Peterson. Yeah. Um, who they believed pushed her down the stairs. Yeah. And so this show is about that, but it's not like a, a it's not an, an another telling of, of the same thing. It actually 
is about the making of the documentary on top of the case that's going on because there's layers and layers and layers of corruption. Did your opinion change while you were filming this of what happened? <laughs> I'm so done talking about what happened. I mean, we were on set yeah. and it was just like... I had theories, my wife had everyone theories. Everyone had theories and I was, I was theorizing for so long and then um, by this point I'm like, I just... Yeah, I'm over know, it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm over it. it is, but, uh, yeah. It's a fascinating, fascinating story. Fascinating. And, and your great, great cast, Colin Firth, our buddy, Tony Collette, amazing. I mean, so many. Rosemary DeWitt, Dane DeHaan, Juliette Dane DeHaan. Binoche, oh, yeah, Michael Stuhlbarg. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, I was asking you if, you know, because it gets intense talking about this type of stuff, it, do you ever make it loose on set? What was the fun things? And you said that you created a game it's called Yay or Nay. It's called Yay or Nay. That's correct. And it's, uh, it was invented, well, I don't know if it was invented, but it was brought to me by Odessa Young, who plays my sister on the show. Wait, someone actually, I thought you invented this game. I did not invent this game. This is a real game? I can't take credit for this. This is Can a real game. Can you explain to everyone what this game <laughs> it's, is? It's very basic, but basically it, it's a great time waster. So. Uh, one person is the subject and everyone else secretly decides, okay, this is the end position that we want this person to end up in, okay? So you, you choose like a physical position for them. It could be like this, it could be like yeah. climbing on the wall, it could be anything. Yeah. And you all decide that that's the position. And you all decide uh -huh. and then you just kind of let the subject go and uh, move around the space, move their body <laughs> and you say yay if they're getting warmer to the pose or nay if they're not. Okay. And I think we should play it. We should play this. I think we should play it. I love this. I love, I love, I love any game. I love anyone Are bringing a game. I'm down. How would, okay. how would we do it? Get yourself up. Okay. Um, I will, you know, conveniently, there's a whiteboard here. I don't know how that got that. I will write down the position that I, went, I want you to end up in. Okay. I'm not and looking I'll show you guys, the audience. Yep. So the audience is in on the position. Yes. This is yay or nay. And then we will say yay or nay, yep, depending right. on if you're getting closer or not. Okay. okay, yay or nay, and this is a real game that someone made up. Okay, can we okay. see? Are you showing? I'm not looking. Yeah? Okay. Okay, great. All right, audience likes it. All right, is it away, Sophie? It's away. It is away, okay. It's gone. All right, so now are we currently playing yay or nay? We're currently playing. <laughs> Move about the space. Uh, I'm moving about want. the space, okay. Um. Nay. 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 Yay. Nay. Yay. Nay. Nay. Yay. Oh my God. Here it is. All fours on desk. That's what I'm talking Woo! about. Yeah, or nay, you were the most fun. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Uh, here's Sophie Turner in the staircase. Take a look at this. Hey, Dad. Uh, you, you guys on my presence yet? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, they're not going to do it themselves. I know. It's just, it's, it's not the same without you. Honey, nothing feels right about this. The DA keeps calling. Well, he just. Keep ignoring them. So, have you spoken to Candace or Lori? I, I haven't gotten through. Uh, no. What, really? Nothing? No. Look, just make sure everyone sticks together. I miss you. I miss you too. We all do. I'll see you soon, all right? Okay. I love you. I love you. Sophie Turner, everybody! <laughs> the first three episodes of The Staircase are streaming now on HBO Max. Hey, hey.